Hey YouTube, it's the test lead. And today's video is about learning how to use Join and Union in SQL. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. I make content to help you on your QA and automation journey. Now back to the video. In SQL, we use commands to combine data or information from different tables. This helps us analyze data in larger data sets. This video will go over SQL join, which is the regular standard join, a left join, right join, outer join, and finally union. The join command allows you to combine information from two or more tables. The most common join is the inner join. When you use the inner join, it will return all the values that match from both tables. The command looks like either of these options here. Either select star from table one, inner join, table two, on table one dot name of column equals table two dot name of column. The other option is you don't state the word enter in your statement and defaults to enter join. And here we have select star from table one join table two on table one dot name of column equals table two dot name of column. You can select specific columns to display in your result set by adding the column names to your select statement. Please make sure that the columns that you're joining your data on have the same data types. We will replace table one with the first table we want to join and table two with the second. There is no limit to the number of tables we can join. Here's an example. Select star from test lead subscribers, join subscriber views on test lead subscribers dot name equals subscriber views dot name. And remember our rule. The column that we're joining on needs to have the same exact data type. So for both these examples, we're using the name column, they both have a string, they're the same data type. And this will return all the values that match from both tables. Next, the SQL left join. The SQL left join allows us to return all the data from our first table along with the matching results from our second table. The command looks like this. Select star from table one, left join, table two on table one dot name of column equals the table two dot name of column. We will replace table one with the first table we want to join and table two with the second. Now let's add a real example. Select star from test seat subscribers, left join subscriber views on test seat subscribers dot name equals subscriber views dot name. This command will retrieve all the data records from the left table, test seat subscribers, and the matching records from the right table, subscriber views. Now, the SQL right join, which is the opposite of the left join. In the left join, we return all the values from table one and the match ones from table two. Now we're gonna return all the values from table two and then the match ones from table one. In theory, you could just switch the order of the tables and always use a left join, but just so you know, this is the right join. The command looks like this. Select star from table one, right join, table two on table one dot name of column equals the table two dot name of column. We will replace table one with the first table we want to join and table two with the second. Now a real example, select star from test seat subscribers, right join subscriber views on test seat subscribers dot name equals subscriber views dot name. This command will retrieve all the data records from the right table, as I said previously, subscriber views and the matching records from the left table, test lead subscribers. And our last join statement, the SQL outer join. Outer join allows you to return data from both tables if there are any matches at all. The command looks like this. Select star from table one, full outer join, table two on table one dot name of column equals to table two dot name of column. Our example is select star from test lead subscribers full outer join subscriber views on test seat subscribers dot name equals subscriber views dot name. This will return all records from both tables as long as there is a match. And now finally, SQL union. Union allows you to combine two or more select statements. However, each select statement needs to have the same number of columns and the data types have to be similar in the columns. The command looks like this. Select column name from table one, union 
select column name from table two. Our example is gonna be select name from test seat subscribers, union select name from subscribers view. This will return all the name values from both tables. We can also do a union all. The thing is with union by default, it will not return duplicates. If we use union all, that will include values that duplicate. So select name from test seat subscribers, union all, select name from subscriber views. This will return all the name values from both tables, including duplicates. As you can see, SQL is a very powerful tool. The more you know, the more marketable you are, the more valuable you are. I'll be coming out with a full course on SQL soon, so please stay tuned. But if you need help on your QA journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.